Hello guys and welcome to a very muddied Minecraft. So he's just AFK right now, so I'm waiting for him. So I'm just giving you a tour once I'm back. We just uh, fought the Twilight Lich King or something like that and defeated it, so we're on our way home. And I did a lot of off cam. We both did, so we will show you right now. Or at least I will show you right now what we've been up to. So I will start up here. Okay, let's go to the tour. So, FIFA. And the reason why it's so high up is because they had to be in that biome over there. So we build it up high. So, this is one entrance. We sealed it off so they couldn't come in all the mobs. But this is our main entrance here. That's my horse with a SimCity hat now. Okay. Then we have two towers, and they are constantly getting power by that block. And there is nothing out here. It's just here. When we come in here, and go down. We have our Nether portal. The most of our machines, a sorting system. So, if I throw gold ingots in, they will come out over here. This slot, and just a bit there, and we practically sorted like pretty much everything we have. Then enchantment table. And down here we have some different stuff. Here we have our smeltery. He's building this shit. I don't know how it works. And uh, I'm waiting with this. Here is his power suit shit. Don't know anything about that e either. Just some chest is. So it's bad. We never sleep, so I don't know why it won't bed really, but whatever. This is... Uh, that was his room, by the way. This is my room. I'm not done. But it's pretty awesome so far. So, in here. This shit gives us mob essence. And then the mob essence goes down here. Basically, just put some essence bushes, harvester, so it will harvest it, and then get a sludge boiler, so the sludge from the harvester will go away. Then over here, I get the essence, um, berry, bushes, whatever they drop when you harvest them, I get that into the autonomous activator that right clicks it so that will put an experience up here and that just goes into here and what I do with this in here I it's on so let me uh, turn it off like that and you can see it's turned off <coughs> So, um, in here, there goes power, and in here, the mob ascents. The mob ascents don't have to come into the grinder. But we, we have an auto spawner here, 
with Mapisense and Energy. And when it gets erect, Stone Signal, it will basically stop. And we have a Safari Net with a Zombie Pikmin in it. And that's just a grinder here that will kill him. And over here, it's just the wiring in there. Okay, let's turn this on again. And it's on. So, this shit here, it's basically just so we can see this bike going here. Okay, both green. Something. Like, if something's wrong, this would tell us. So, for example, if the drains doesn't work or something, then that shit is red. So it's pretty nifty. <clears throat> then here we have all the shit it will drop. We get a lot of gold swords, so we put all the gold swords over here until we get the uncrafting table. And nothing in these. We're waiting for these to grow. <clears throat> and this one. I don't know if I can demonstrate it actually. If we just boot it up because the server just started. Welcome to the cooker. Please place items in the chest. Only burnable items. And type in cook and press enter. One stack at a time. Okay. Then we type in cook. Sending items to be cooked or to get cooked. It's sending here. And once this is done sending, it will go to the next. There, melting items. So it's it's pretty nice. Thank you for using the cooker. Okay, so let's. Let's terminate this program and open the door. And by the way, they came back here. <clears throat> so this is pretty much it. To open the door, it's up here. Just output a redstone signal up there for 10 seconds. And you can always get out. And it will start the transfer here. And it will stop it when there's no signal here. So if I put something in that will light up. <clears throat> and then when it comes over here it says melding items and when it's done it will just go over here. So that was that. And over here we have an expanded tree farm. Gets like a lot. The only thing we need to do with this tree farm is to put these saplings in here. <clears throat> Look, there goes the tree, and the new sapling will be planted soon. And the tree goes over to the chest. So, this basically is pretty much the same as the uh, Marbisense up there. We have a harvester with an upgrade to 8 radius, so it has 8 radius more than it had on default, and that's 3. So it has 11 radius, so it can basically reach all these saplings. And this is just the sludge boiler. So it will harvest every tree that grows in here. And the planter, it's the same, has the upgrade. So it will plant um, every dirt. That's one up and then 11 radius. Sometime, yep, sometimes it takes time, but sometimes it's fast. And this, if we have some fertilizer, it's pretty much the same. It's 
So let's move on. Down here we have our quarry. I don't know if we can put that in. It's off right now because we didn't have any coal. And because there's water. Damn. So, the quarry shit just gets in here. So, this is what the quarry is doing for us. And some shit here. And this is pretty much full, so we need. Let's drain it. So guys, I'm pretty much almost there. You can see the house again. And steam just went off. <clears throat> then it's just one small shit here that pretty much run all of our machines. A solar generator and a wind turbine. They pretty much run everything power related down there so that's it I hope you like my tour and I think I didn't forget anything if you want a tutorial on how to build any of this shit just PM me and we can do it like he can do it on the smeltery and I can maybe do it on the computers or the harvester or the food farm and he can do it with power suits or whatever <coughs> so that was it hope you enjoyed guys peace out